All right. So um, we now have our thirds of four study circles uh, ready to go. So these folks have been tasked to talk with us about the topic of the minimum wage. So uh, we'll turn it over to the study circle to get started and share their thoughts on this topic. Let me create some plan just to get started. Um, what do we think the minimum wage in the U.S. should um, I really like divided with this question, mainly because like the minimum wage in the U.S., like the federal minimum wage is two twenty, or sorry, seven twenty-five. But like different states have different minimum wages, and so if we were to like upper the minimum wage or lower the minimum wage, then the cost of living would have to change as well. But then again, like if we were to keep the same minimum wage. Some of like the poor counties in Oregon or poor states are still hurting from that. So I'm kind of divided between. So one issue I have with it is like how it affects small businesses. So if you've been around the same order and they're employees, they're not going to have the money to pay their employees. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Ye
free reign to change their minimum wage. Like, should jobs that aren't privately owned, I guess, like chain jobs, what would you, like, balance put those under? So, the reason I was just, like, thinking about that, yeah. I would say they probably could have been more, I mean, because they are a lot where they are able to set their own. Okay. Yeah, they have to follow like federal, but they are able to adjust. Okay. Do we think states should have a lot higher impact on that? Like, do you know what you should? Yeah, I thought something that said 29 states and one of the states that for a change in the limit to now offset 25. So, I guess it's on the state level that they do. I also feel like, like, first state, in no way, like, you're looking at, like, how much you're going to pay, because, like, my dad lives in Alaska. And their minimum wage is much higher because the cost of living is a lot higher there too. Mm -hmm. So you also have to put that perspective and I think the times are changing to so like people are being paid more. So things are becoming more expensive also. So that's also another reason why I think it would be better to change some areas to change the minimum wage. Yeah, but at the same time, the change minimum wage keeps the debate. I was doing some research and like the poorest state in the United States is Mississippi and their minimum wage is only $7.25 and this is based on like how much income each household makes and so I thought like okay well if they raise that minimum wage their income would obviously grow but then like their cost of living would also grow so would it just still be like the poorest state? Or could there be a change with that from the minimum wage? Is it the minimum wage that's causing it to be the poor state? Like the minimum wage is only benefit like your lower class. Yeah. And not really boost the other mm -hmm. upper end or middle class individuals. Yeah. But it's the minimum wage more than the average. It's like the average is like 1275. But in the top three wealthiest counties in Oregon, it's $14. So, with that, like, are we feeling like raising the minimum wage is really actually make a difference? I'm not sure about that because when we raise minimum wage, all the other prices still have to go up to be able to keep the same uh, income for the system. Yeah. Yeah, I still think yes, it should be raised, but. Depends on where you're at. It's not like not necessarily like what they're proposing is like to make the whole federal what at the federal level of everywhere in the whole United States up to fifteen. I don't think that'd be good. It would like it would really kill some of the small businesses and that kind of stuff. But if we saw it like change at a local level, it could like more manageable. Yeah. Yeah. So, for the reason we really like jobs, like, we don't need jobs to create people at our age that need a part time job that don't make like, just any cash. They're not jobs that are made to be making a career out of. So, that's the fact that they shouldn't probably be raised because those jobs aren't intended to make a career out of. But you're supposed to remember your job, there's a way to get your foot in the door, you know, more for having job experience so you can go on to get better jobs to make more money. Yeah, I think you make a really good point. Like they are supposed to be, you know, intended for part-time jobs, but like nowadays with COVID and all whatnot, they're becoming people's like actual occupation. So I don't know. Again, I'm I'm between more I don't know where to go for that and how to answer that specifically. I, I agree with you. I think that some of these jobs are kind of starting to be kind of more like full time because of COVID. Like let's say like door dashing. I don't think that should necessarily be raised like for a minimum wage because yes, some people might be like living off that like right now, but it's not really meant like to stay like that forever. Like it's not going to be COVID times for for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Real quick dialogue. Around that one, just just so I know. 
how you talked about the board actually talking about just like kind of those like lower wage jobs, so like that would include like McDonald's and stuff like that as well, or are you talking about just like DoorDash, Uber and stuff where they're not really being hired, it's just like a contract? Yeah, I mean, kind of both. Okay. Because, like, I see DoorDash as more of like a, kind of like a side hustle. And some people that do it full time, like, they make good money. But I did not like, it's more of a COVID thing to me that, that it's kind of becoming more like a full time kind of occupation. I don't think it's going to stay to the point where, like, people are going to have that as their full time job for, like, the rest of their life. Okay. I know, and eventually, I mean, it's probably never going to go away, but hopefully, eventually, when all of the COVID goes away or is contained or better and whatnot that they won't be using DoorDash or Uber Eats or all that stuff as often because people will actually want to go out and be and go get it themselves. And so like jobs like that, I feel like I agree they need a minimum wage for jobs specifically like that. I don't think it needs to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you could look at, I mean, I'm just totally shocked, but you look at the type of work, their schedules, like are they working from nine to five jobs every single day, or are they doing like DoorDash, like, oh, okay, this person wants food, I guess I'll go get it for them now. Like, I think it depends on schedules and type of work, I guess. Also, like you need the necessity of it. Like, um, like yeah, people need to eat, but McDonald's isn't necessarily like a necessity. But like construction is like only going to be a necessity. Um, cities are always growing, and cities are always in need of repair and stuff like that. So like that kind of stuff that you know, always needs to be around to so like, need a higher demand work. Like, um, well, we talked about construction, so I would say, like, you would define a job that deserves more pay or something like a certification for schooling. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm going to go to school and I'm going to go to like, college and go to trade school, but uh, you're going to have some sort of school that doesn't put a bigger step in a bigger job. Because 
I mean, for our state government, they're just mostly probably kind of focused up on upper half of the state and say, okay, well, these guys need this much money for this job, so I can ask you what that feel like. When every part of Oregon is super different, every single part, and so maybe like local government can control that. Thought, I don't know. So I thought you're saying that then it is good to have federal government at a baseline, so like yeah. your small town of counties so cannot go below the seventy five to nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. Some people you do it by county, but some like it's a bit smaller county. Also, if they raise the minimum wage, then they'll probably have more people applying for the job, too, so then it's like a chance to get a job. Also, if I look at minimum wage right now, like, if you really want to get a job right now, it's just too much that you need a job right now. So I don't feel like it's just going to start increasing, you know, like, it's going to affect that. If you want a job right now, you can get a job right now. If you just want to get a job right now, you can get a job right now. Yeah, I think it's happening. Like, 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 well, I think that's a really simple answer just because, like, with COVID and then the added, like, no, it's COVID. Yeah. But it's changing, like, our businesses and our economic numbers so much, unfortunately. So it's hard to see, like, okay, well, in 10 years, is it going to all just completely be fine? So at that point, we can be all lower the minimum wage because everybody else will be working or, like, higher because everybody else will be working. So, I mean, that would be something that's going to be different. How long is going to be a little bit of an increase in inflation? Do you want to see the rate of growth increasing? Yeah, I think if it goes a full, a full federal route, then it, I think it will definitely increase inflation. And then the government will keep something out of money. But if it's, like you said, like county or statewide, it has a better chance of kind of dialing it down and keeping everything intact. Do you guys have Yeah, I, I was going to say that I found it kind of interesting that, like, where all your positions are, because they're actually, like, fairly similar to, like, these are, like, a wide spectrum of stuff that people want to do. So, like, no one really said, oh, we should get rid of minimum wage. Like, there was no extremes like that. It was taken back to, like, 60 years ago. Since that was made on the system, you know, and maybe we should, like, make a higher position. So I just kind of found it interesting you guys were kind of just and like smaller spectrum, but you almost feel like the green on my position. And I just like, just kind of repitching it, like, without repitching it all before, I was like, oh yeah, like, oh, that's really, really tight. And I started reading about it, and I was like, yeah, it doesn't, like, if you just put something up like that, it's going to have repercussions for sure. So, like, I think we all kind of have a good, that's a middle ground, um, for what we're going to do. I'm 
Uh, great work. Let's give them a round of applause. All right. So, uh, 